Hey, what's up? How's it going? Today's video, we're going to be making some freaking drop spindles, all right? I've never done it before, but right off the rip, huge shout out to Pop Pop's Garage. The day I said I was going to do this, like, and filmed it, he posted a video on his Instagram, and I'm like, oh, cool. Now I'm going to watch your video and be less nervous to do it, because I'll know exactly what to do, because he's a good fabricator. He knows the bullshit. You guys, yeah. Anyways, uh, basically, like I said, to preface this for anyone who hasn't seen what goes on with these things, this includes Civic, CRX, Integra, any Honda, or even anything with an upper control arm. There was a big smudge on my lens, so I'm sorry if there was glare. But um, from what I've learned, these are cast steel, not cast iron. So I have no fear in welding these things. Now, I am not, obviously, like I just said, I don't know how to TIG weld, so I'm not going to TIG weld them. But I did, in fact, get my new torch in from Amazon, $50 special, right here, 50 bucks. When you lower a Honda, it's going to get closer and closer to the strut tower. With that being said, let's get this wheel off. So this is what I mean here, right? I got about an inch of play in the control arm without any weight on it. I'm guessing I'm probably have like a centimeter if I actually put the car on the ground. So essentially what you have to do, upper ball joint, tie rod, lower ball joint, axle, brakes. All that comes off, pull the whole spindle off, and what we're going to be doing is chopping about two inches out of here so that this sits more, you know, down. Uh, there was some wrestling, so I wasn't filming, but got the bitch. All right. Now time to chop chop. All right, I don't know where my marker is, but basically I'm following I'm following the sound advice I was given and cutting out this little nub right here. So I'm going to be cutting two inches out of this, so I'm just going to cut it right here, right before that, that little nub, Jamie. And then I'm going to measure two inches down and cut that, and then I'm going to weld it. Well, then I'm going to chamfer it, then I'm going to weld it. So there we go, this is where your upper ball joint connects. That's that. And that is the piece that we cut off. Two inches, man. So now I'm gonna switch out to a grinding wheel and I'm gonna grind this down almost to a point, or as far as I can anyway. And do the same with this side, so we can fill it all with freaking weld. Well, it actually goes that way. That's gonna go like that and see now that I can get all the way the freak in there instead of just welding. I would not, I would strongly advise against welding it straight up like butt to butt. Like, I mean, maybe you'd be all right, but I, I wouldn't risk it because this is like, this is what keeps your wheel straight. So it could be uh, dangerous. So what you wanna do is go on as high as your welder can possibly go and just, like low wire speed and just really melt the metal together right there and now what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna brush all this off and then bring it up to just kind of give it some more obviously some more structural stability or integrity I want to say so this will look like it blends into that that's a better look at what the first layer looks like cleaned off So here it is. Now yeah, I could grind it down, but I was also advised in said video link description to not do that because more filler is better, which, you know, makes sense. So I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna grind it down and make it all perfect looking. I just want it welded. Well, it is welded, so that's good. Got the drop spindle on the car. Not completely freaking bolted up, but I got all the ball joints tightened. <sighs> now, if I can get a light up there, you will be able to see what I mean. See that circle? That's from the damn upper control on the top. That's the top of the ball joint right there. So that's what you run into. And there's the top of the freaking, there's, there's the light through the engine bay right there, that little circle. But yeah, so now we have all that clearance. 
it's much freaking better. All right, so just letting you guys know, I just completely redid this because I didn't, I didn't take into account the fact that bringing the control arm down would get rid of a shit ton of camber. And also, I think I placed it wrong the first time. Uh, I know I'm probably going to still have to adjust my toe. So, if you're doing this on a Civic, it'll be easier for you because um, you can actually get adjustable camber arms. I can't, so, yeah. What I did is I just freaking cut it back off and welded it like way far out to push the spindle back to give it camber. Let's see if that worked. This is a lot better because before it didn't even want to go down, uh, but I am in fact touching the thing. Even though I brought it out that far, it did give it a little camber, but it's the tire is just straight touching right now. I'm getting to the point where I'm about to start calling this urban hot rodding. Well, now I'm going to mod the upper control arms because like I said, they don't freaking sell adjustable upper control arms for a prelude. The best freaking spot to cut, all right, would be right here. So I'm literally just gonna chop an inch off of each side, all right? Better yet, I'm not even gonna do that. I'm literally gonna cut one, slide it underneath it, and then weld it to Okay, there it is. As you can see, the walls are pretty hefty. And I don't even care, those are decent freaking welds. All right, guys? Oh, man, gotta replace that upper ball joint eventually. It's not bad, it doesn't clunk or anything. Or actually, I should probably just get a boot for it. Well, now I'm bound to these control arms, so if I ever replace the ball joint, they're getting pressed out of this control arm and not freaking, I'm not getting new ones because I'm not making these things again. Oh, just kidding. I have to make them again right now. Well, let's put the wheel on and um, that's going to be the final test fit because it's not a test fit anymore because it's going to fit. Fingers crossed, I think, maybe, hopefully. Aside from adjusting the toe, this side is uh, Gucci Dookie. All right. I'm going to raise it up a little bit. And uh, it'll take away some camera when I raise it up. So it'll sit like it was before because I think doing all this actually lowered it. It definitely did because you can see the fitment is like... Yeah. Don't want to hear shit from you guys, alright? <laughs> oh man. Alright, well. On to the next side. It ain't the prettiest shit, guys, but... I'll tell you what, she was red hotter than hell, I'll tell you goddamn There's a lot of weld on it, chamfered, all that freaking goodness. So, yeah. Now, what I have to do is put this in, test and see what it looks like. Because this, this, at least this part I know, like I have to, like I know now that I don't weld it straight up and down like I did originally. I have to weld it like out. Because it'll push the knuckle back, which will bring the camber back. If not, it's like this, and you get positive camber. So, if you are doing this, which I doubt 99% of you guys are going to, uh, because it is a big project, and don't get me wrong, it's not easy. It's, it's literally 10 o'clock right now. But, sometimes, you know, you just you can't be scared to, to cut shit up, you know, because... Should only be scared to cut shit up if you're not confident it'll go back together. Wise words of me. Ugh. Well, wait for that to happen. So I can put it in there without burning the damn ball joint boot. So there that is, all welded up. Exactly eight inches apart. Blah, 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 blah. I did the bottom of each. It's not going to go nowhere. We should be met. So, let's throw this in and, uh... Hope for the best. How's it going? Time check. 11.27. And here we are. So, that's a fitment. 
Boom, right there. One note and one thing to point out. Note, no car is meant to be driven around with your control arm at this type of angle. All right, so you guys can make that call. Um, a lot, apparently a lot, a lot of Prelude guys are completely fine with having their control arms like this and their ball joints being pulled on and maxed out. It's a good way to shear that ball joint right off. D people do drop spindles all the time. It just, I couldn't find a video on it besides my buddy Andy. Basically, the main reason for doing this is to correct your suspension geometry and basically trick your suspension into thinking, hey, my car is not that lowered. If you have any type of Honda, any Honda that has upper control arms and you lower it two and a half inches, three inches, and you don't have like some fire ass coilovers, you're gonna bottom out that wall, upper, upper out, I don't know. Your control arm's gonna hit up here, is what I'm trying to say. So regardless, this is a good move for anyone. And like I said, if you're not confident, like like I've welded diffs, I've what, like diffs are, diffs are cast, I've welded 240 knuckles multiple times, those are cast. Nothing's ever broken, matter of fact, right there. You guys remember that? Yeah, that's been welded for four drift events, right? Because I got those from Jimmy, they're S14, they're too long, so I welded them. My point is I've welded enough things and enough integral parts of cars that I'm more than confident in my ability to make something stick is what I'm saying. That being said, I'm not a pro. If you guys are doing this and you're even half like, mm, I don't know if I can do it, just bring it to somebody. You could do the cutting yourself, bring it to somebody, and uh, the upper control arms you guys could definitely do. Flux welder, doesn't matter. The upper control arms are not cast, but the other stuff is cast, and like I said, it really helps if you freaking have some nap gas handy, you know? Cause this shit gets stuff real freaking warm. Yeah. Oh, piss off. Now things to note. The only thing that I have to do is align the front end. And um, I asked Andy about it. He said, yeah, like that's, that's like the first thing he said. He's like, yeah, dude, like your toe's gonna be way off. You're just gonna have to align it. I'm like, all right. So I did as much adjusting welding wise as I could. Now, if you have a Civic or something newer that they make adjustable upper control arms for, you're gonna be in a lot better shape than me. You're just gonna have to do this drop, the drop spindle and then an alignment in the front, so. I am not opposed to doing a front end alignment. I have no problem doing that. Um, I really like the fitment. It's just enough so that you can see like the tire size. Like this is what I wanted from before. And um, like the actual, like this top tread part here is covered, so that's perfect. And then obviously when it, when I, when I hit bumps, it's gonna suck in, it's not gonna hit this. So, then pl plus like, I don't, I don't really know how much she's going to be moving, you know? Pretty damn stiff springs, but that looks great. I'm proud. I'm going home. I got to wash up and edit and upload and blah, 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 blah. If this video helps out anyone ever, let me know. I don't know. This is why I make these videos, you know? I'm willing to be the test dummy to, you know, advance the civilization of car modding, all right? Not, a, not every car has off-the-shelf parts. Look at the freaking guy with the rear-wheel drive prelude in friggin' Poland. I think he has like a Mercedes engine, it's boosted rear-wheel drive with like Opal driveline or some, some weird car and shit like that. Like, sometimes you just gotta make shit work. I'm just really happy that I'm not gonna hear boom, 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 boom. So many freaking prelude, they were all pissed. They're like, dude, what the hell are you doing cutting this shit off? That's blah, 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 blah. Hey dude, sorry I don't want my freaking control arms like this. Literally this this hole right here. For anyone who doesn't have modded spindles and your car is actually low, like considerably low, like you can get low to the ground on 15s and have bad fitment and like the car will be low. I'm saying like, so if you're on 17s and you're decently low, look right here. I bet you there's a rusty thing behind that. That's your control arm. Look at mine, boy. Nada, nothing in there. All right, I don't know. I'm done rambling. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.